hello everybody it's your old pal tuna here and welcome back to another video i am red and sweaty because i have just arrived at the vancouver convention center to set up for anime revolution 2024 which is probably the biggest anime convention that we have here i say probably that's without a doubt i'm just a little loopy from having to lug you know 100 pounds worth of stuff by myself up and down a number of escalators so that's right i am for the first time since 2018 back at anime revolution i'm super excited to be here uh everyone is almost already set up because i'm a little on the later side and yeah if you're new here yes my name is tuna i'm an illustrator and comic artist and i share all about my life as a full-time artist here on youtube including going to a lot of art markets, conventions, stuff like that. So this will be a vlog of my three-day weekend here at the Anime Con. Without further ado, let's go get set up. Uh, you guys can see I have my very fashionable high-vis wear on as is required by the convention center. And it is rather warm in here, so let's break a little bit more sweat. I am all finished. I am not too sweaty. It's actually kind of air conditioned in here. We'll see if that holds up for the weekend. All done. Uh, felt really easy, probably because I did this literally like three and a half days ago. So, you know, a lot of, lot of setups this year. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty palatial in here. There's like a ton of tables. A lot of people have theirs kind of um, put away for the evening. I never do that because I just don't care and just don't steal from me. Is it hard not to steal from me? Looks like a lot of people have come from afar and a lot of people who I don't see at other shows, so looking forward to making some friends and perhaps some purchases, we'll see. The set of time ends at 9 and it's just about 9 now, so everyone should be clearing out soon and then we're back bright and early. Uh, doors open at 11. That means I'll probably be here at 10.45. We'll see for Anime Revolution. Hello. <laughs> 
Hello everyone, good morning. We are about 20 minutes away. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. From opening up the artist alley here. And yeah, I'm a little early, so I figured I would walk around and have a chat with you before we get started. But uh, the main thing that I wanted to mention is you might have noticed me mention uh, 85 million times that this is an anime convention and we have spoken in some previous vlogs about the not exact click that me and anime conventions have been having as of the last year of experimenting with markets. Um, and you know, I haven't really been able to fully reflect on why that might be, if it's like a me thing, how I could kind of like remedy that going forward if I do want to keep doing anime conventions. But the thing is, is this is a hometown show. And one of the big things about Anime Revolution is they have a rebooking policy. So once you get your table, you can rebook immediately for next year. And if you don't do that, there's only like a handful of tables that release to the public. So once you're in, you better keep rebooking if you even think you kind of want to be in the show, otherwise you're screwed. And because it's a hometown show, I don't have to worry about those $1,000 in travel expenses that I've been talking about. That's really what's been the kicker. So I am expecting this show to be pretty average, pretty like, you know, run of the mill. Um, as I've said before, I like to crack $1,000 in sales every single day regardless of what kind of market it is. I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble with that, but you know, the vlog remains to be, to be recorded. I keep getting distracted walking around because everything is so cute and I'm like, you ever get sad and then wanna like add to cart? That's kind of where I'm at right now. So let's hope the weekend goes well. I will save my shopping for Sunday and uh, pretty much everyone that I know is here. So I look forward to rubbing some elbows with friends, new and old. And let's get this party started, shall we? Yeah, yeah. it's Ruth Bryant. Yeah, Bryant. What can I grab? Yes. Uh huh. Good choice. Yep. Keeping up with you. And the ghost garden. Perfect. Okay. All right, and can I get you a little paper bag for those? Yes, of course. Awesome, and paying with cash? Perfect, so I'll just trade you there. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, have a wonderful weekend. This is, this is your card. That is the little yellow one with me on it. Tuna. Tuna. Yeah. I did have it all. The stylization oh throws people like off. I get Tina sometimes, and I'm like, okay, I'll be Tina if that's what you want. That's usually how I say it, tuna. <laughs> of course. And the print? Thank you so much. Thank you. See you again. Uh, do you want to tuck the card in there? Or? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. And paying with cash or card? Let's do it. $20 on the nose. Thank you so much. I'm a hairstylist, so I admire the cut and everything. My partner, not not a trained hairstylist, but he's been doing it since the pandemic, and so he's he's nearly professional. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Steal it, spread it. New trend. <laughs> Take care. Enjoy the weekend. Yeah, and he's but he's like got a big personality, which is what we needed for Nori because Nori has a big personality. But Nori has like. I wouldn't say mellowed out, but it has solved pretty much all of his behavioral issues because now instead of harassing me all day every day, he just plays with the other cat. It's perfect. Hello guys, so it's just about 3 p.m. now. Uh, things have been slow but steady. I mean, busy enough that I, hi. <laughs> Yeah, Sorry, I am vlogging. Sorry, I mean like direct eye contact. <laughs> it's okay. It used to be like so, like if anyone saw me doing video, I'd be like feeling shame, but at this point, I don't care anymore. And then I was also thinking it would be fun to do commissions tomorrow uh, and Sunday of the pet portraits, but like the little cartoon cats that I did, like I did a whole bunch of them when I was trying to make back some money for some vet bills that I had recently. And they're really quick to do. Um, I thought that they would be a fun little option for instead of just sitting around twiddling my thumbs, I can do some sketching. I will keep you updated with that. We will get through the rest of today and it's day one. So I'm keeping it, keeping it low key. Save the energy for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just leaving end of day one and 
I had to buy this. Um, is this the cutest thing I've ever seen? It might be. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to the bathroom. It is Saturday now at around nine o'clock. I'm just getting ready for day two of Annie Revo and I thought we could have a really intimate bathroom makeup chat with my morning voice before we head over to the con today. So yesterday went uh, pretty slow and I was chatting with some of my other local artists and we were agreeing um, mostly across the board. Definitely felt like it was slow to the point where some people were pretty disappointed. And my sales were about the same as they were at Icon, if you watched that vlog. And if you recall, I'm pretty sure I said it was my single worst day, like, of sales of the year. And at Icon, when you have $1,000 of expenses to recoup, that feels pretty bad. But here on home turf, I don't really care. And I'm sure that it will make up for it today and that things will balance out. <laughs> want to print off some examples of my cat doodle pet portrait commissions to put up on the on the booth and then I will take those and hopefully get a bunch that would be fun I'll, I'll make like a really nice sign for it and then I'll maybe I'll print out another sticker sheet sign too because <laughs> I had to do a handwritten one again since I sort of forgot okay I just like didn't bother to make one the other day I don't know, is my heart in it? I'm starting to feel like I'm burnt out a little bit and I don't know if it's like on markets in general or if like the past few anime markets just not being that great for me is putting like a damper on the vibe, I don't know. And there's also the fact that this is the last show that I'm doing until um, late September because I'm going away on a holiday for two weeks. Did I tell you guys that already? Shh. Maybe my mind's just kind of in like pre-holiday mode already. I don't know. I met a lot of people yesterday, had a lot of really good chat, which was really what I was going for. And I saw like someone that I haven't seen in like eight years who I used to be friends with on Gaia Online. If you watched my how I became a full-time artist video, I talk about the impact that Gaia had on my life and my friend there who I ended up meeting in real life because of cons and then haven't seen her in a decade almost. Hey, no sniffing that. Here's Flapjack everybody, by the way. He's getting a bit bigger. Haven't seen him in a couple of weeks. There he is. He's a, who's a little baby. He's a little baby. Yeah, you little Flapjack. You little purr purr. Mm -hmm. Okay, you gonna go outside now? We'll let your brother beat you up. Hey, boy. Oh, and one thing that actually, I, one thing that I forgot is that, um, so the only fan art I have on my table is Monster High, right? And people clock it pretty quickly and definitely was like my best selling item of the day yesterday. And a lot of fun conversations have been going down with people about Monster High because I don't know about you, but I don't have any friends that like Monster High. So I enjoy my hobby to myself. And it is fun to be able to chat about G1 versus G3 and like the characterization in the in the animated series and the character designs and the fashion choices. Um, <laughs> so I actually got to do that a lot. And I guess that is the fun of a, like a fan con where you do have fan art is that it does invite conversations. So I'm getting that bug where I want to abandon my convictions and just make fan art and become that sort of person. But I think I know better than that. Maybe there's some balance to be struck in the future. I don't know. Just make fan art of stuff that I actually care about. As long as you guys don't think it would be a betrayal. Around. This is my two favorite things, cats and drawing. <laughs> oh, sure, yes. His name is Nori. 
He's a tuxedo cat. He's represented all over my booth with my signage. Uh, he's the devil and I love him to death. And he just got a little brother three weeks ago. We adopted a little orange kitten. Yeah, and so it's just chaos in our house now. Oh yeah, yeah. I think we got negative brain cells now. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, thank you for asking. <laughs> awesome, so you got three. Yeah, you got three here. Yeah, and you can grab whatever you like. Uh, do you want a little paper bag? Yeah, yeah, like Okay. Great, so it'll just be 30 on the nose. Have a business card yet? They're just on the end there as well. Thank you. Have an amazing weekend. You too. Hey y'all, just after 3 p.m. here and it is slow, oh my god. I mean, like I was saying before, because this is a hometown show, I'll survive. I'm in good spirits. I'm getting a lot of drawing done. Done a few commissions, but not too many. I'm workshopping a raccoon OC, uh, so um, I feel like the shape came uh, really, really quickly and just sort of coming up with like little slogany ideas for like stickers and stuff. I really like the idea of him being a little businessman raccoon and I think his name will be Ralphie. And yeah, so that's how I've been spending my time. It feels about the same pace as yesterday, which is really unusual for a Saturday. Uh, Friday, like there was tons of people in here, but not a ton of sales. Basically the same thing happening again. And word on the street is that everyone is feeling this way. I, I don't know, obviously your mileage may vary. Um, but yeah, we're, we're basically halfway through the day and I don't know if it'll pick up, stay the same, slow down a little bit, we will see. That's just the way she goes sometimes. I am looking very Sunday today. I did not style my hair. I put on the bare minimum of makeup and I am in a t-shirt and shorts in anticipation of takedown. But hello, it is one o'clock. We have been open for two hours now and real talk. For the first hour, I just walked around and bought stuff. So I think that my plan is to do a haul for you guys because we haven't had one of those since maybe like Vancouver or something like that. So yeah, we're gonna get through today. We'll see about clips. Um, the whole weekend has been like so slow. Everyone has been reporting that across the board. So something is up. Um, we'll chat about it later and see the rest of uh, anime revolution through. Good vibes, honestly, I feel fine. And I've had really good table mates and everything um, and very friendly people, so can't complain. <laughs> hey guys, just popping in for one last check-in. It is the final hour here and yeah, today's been so slow, it's crazy. And frankly, I'm just ready to get home and hang out with the kitty cats and Mark. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you guys for takedown and for the haul and review later back in the apartment. Welcome back to the apartment. Uh, first of all, apologies if I look or sound a little weird. I've been having like mad allergies for the past two months, kind of out of nowhere. I'm extremely concerned that it's cat related, but I made an appointment with my doctor, hopefully to get things straightened out because I can't live like this, sneezing all the time anymore. Second of all, got a hair trim, which I have to say always makes me feel like more of a human being <laughs> than when my hair is way longer than I want it to be. And yeah, it's Thursday after Anime Revolution. I took Monday and Tuesday basically off. Yesterday, I didn't do much either. I don't know. 
if it was like a product of kind of being burnt out, of having like three days in the fugue state of the anime convention, but I definitely needed the rest and I am now headed into as many consecutive work days as I need before I take my holiday in uh, just over a week, which is kind of crazy. No spoilers as to where I'm going, but it starts with Ja and ends with Pan and I've never been there before and I am so freaking excited. So I will definitely be taking you guys along with me and getting at least one upload up while I'm away. I'll be gone for two upload weeks, but I, I don't think that I'll be able to prep that much in advance, but hopefully it'll be worth the wait for the Japan travel vlog experience. Um, if there's anything in particular that you'd like me to focus on while I'm there, let me know in the comments. My plan is to shop and draw and eat as much good food as I possibly can. <laughs> the best part about going to Japan in this time of the year is that almost everybody I know went in the spring. So I've been gathering everyone's suggestions, making spreadsheets, pinning stuff on Google Maps and we'll be gone for two weeks so hopefully we will be able to hit at least a portion of the stuff that we want to do <laughs> but anyway we will talk about that more in next weekend's vlog before I go because we still have anime revolution to wrap up here <laughs> Sometimes a little dose of perspective is welcome and I think maybe this is the not like humbling but pers just perspective that I needed in order to not take this whole thing quite so seriously anymore, which is not to say that I'm, you know, not treating it with the respect that it deserves, just that like shit happens and they can't all be zingers. <laughs> Prior to this, I would say my two least successful conventions were Harumatsuri back at the beginning of the year and then Icon just a month or so ago. And Harumatsuri is a very, very tiny one day anime event here in Vancouver. And Icon is a three day large anime convention in Winnipeg that cost me a lot to travel to. And the small one versus the cost a lot to travel to and then not really making a ton of profit one. Those were my two lowest scoring opportunities so far, but uh, Annie Revo just smashed both of them so far out of the water. And as I mentioned a couple of times in the video, like it wasn't just me. I think a lot of the time at the anime conventions, like it, it is kind of just me, but holy moly, talking to all my friends, everyone's reporting like fractions of sales compared to last year at the same event, let alone all the other events that they've been doing. This year, 2024 has been slower across the board for events because obviously economic challenges that we are all enjoying and art is a luxury. And so of course, a lot of people who may have been purchasing stuff in previous years have to cut back on that their extra spending, totally understandable. And I was hearing that the offerings for Annie Revo, like the panels and I don't know, whatever it is people do at anime conventions, like guests and stuff like that, we're just not very good this year. And so the tickets to the event are really expensive and that kind of like kept people from coming. I don't know. I did end up rebooking for next year at the beginning of the day on Saturday, expecting that there was no way Saturday was going to be as bad as it ended up being. I think my sales were only marginally higher on Saturday than they were on Friday. And then Sunday was like pennies. I probably made as much at this con as I would make at a three day con six to seven years ago before I even pivoted to doing this uh, at the much larger scale that I am. I think that this can be <laughs> a learning experience in that like, first of all, you can't win them all. Second of all, I really don't think anime conventions are where I should be spending my time and energy. Um, next year, I will absolutely be taking a different approach to the types of events that I attend. And I don't know, I try and take something away from every failed experience in, that I have in my business and in my life, but I'm just not sure what to make of this. All I feel like I can do is laugh and yeah, be appreciative of the stuff that I was able to buy and support small businesses <laughs> while I was there. Speaking of which, we're gonna roll the hall while I continue to talk to you about this. So I'll be back to say hi at the end of that. But yeah, my sales were 50% of what I would expect to sell over the course of a three day weekend. 50% of what I would expect to sell. And my cost to get the table was just under $400 for three days and I had the smallest size table available without getting like a half size table. And I feel like at this point I'm starting to regret rebooking. Like it's always possible that next year will be much better and because it's a home show, the risk is like relatively low unless something comes up on that same weekend that, you know, I wanna prioritize over failing at Anime Revolution again. And despite the abysmal sales, there were a few fun things about the weekend that honestly kept my spirits pretty high. As you could tell in the 
video. It's not like I was like depressed like I was in the icon vlog. So for example, there was a ribbon rally that was really boisterous here at Anime Revolution. And if you've never heard of a ribbon rally, it's sort of like a giveaway where vendors will order these little ribbons that you stick to your con badge that will say things like, I stayed hydrated or um, my neighbor had one that said, I touched grass. Uh, I could be romancing Asterian right now. Like they can be fan related or non-fan related. And then you have to perform something to the vendor in order to receive the ribbon. And it's to incentivize visiting around all the different vendors and then collecting the ribbons and just having a good time. And I thought that was really cute. And I think next year, if I do decide to follow through on going back, I'll get tied into this ribbon rally thing just for the sake of like being part of like a community and, and making the best of it. It was also just great to see like so many people that I knew. And I think that, you know, in an unfortunate way, knowing that everybody was low key kind of suffering was also helping to keep me like <laughs> not feeling super down on myself or anything like that. I mean, there was no weird interactions, rude interactions. I have nothing but kind things to say about the attendees. The only thing like AR gets a lot of flack for being a really corporate anime convention versus the homegrown ones that seem to be the ones that pop up around the rest of Canada. And on that note, like I did not see any event staff, no volunteers, nobody like asking if we need water or someone to watch our table for a bathroom break. And not that I feel entitled to those things, but they are really nice when they're available. Um, and it's just not something that any Revo offers to vendors, unfortunately. But that was my last con, like until the end of September. Um, I have two events in September right after I get back from my holiday. I have one event at the end of October and I think I might've applied for another event in the middle of October. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure if it was for an October event or a December event, cause like they have both. I don't know which the form was for. And that one's in Edmonton. So fingers crossed, cause I think it could be a cool opportunity and it's not that hard to get to Edmonton for me. And then I only have two holiday markets and I think I'm gonna cap it at that. Finding the balance between too many and too few and making the right amount of money and choosing the ones where your time is like best spent. But I'm gonna make the most of this two week vacation. I feel it is much deserved. I have never taken a two week vacation. I have not traveled as an adult by myself without my family outside of North America ever. So this is like a big first for me, other than when I lived in Ireland for a year and a half during the pandemic, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> I think that's all there is to say. So let's wrap this up and thank all of my supporters over on Patreon real quick. These are the people who are keeping the videos flowing on the channel. These are the people who pick me up when the convention doesn't do so well. <laughs> they get all kinds of special perks. Everyone gets access to my secret shop and my discord. I do monthly podcasts, extra videos, sometimes digital downloads and printable files. Just kind of a spattering of whatever it is that I feel is on theme or that I have available that I don't post anywhere else. And then of course at the 10 and $25 tiers, you can get mail rewards right to your door and this month we are doing a alternative theme i have already announced the sticker sheet and the print and i believe another sticker for this one and there's one more reward yet to come i feel like this is a really fun set of rewards i've never explored this kind of western aesthetic before and that's what i love so much about running the lunchbox club is that it allows me to reach my little paws into all kinds of different niches and see how my style applies to them so yeah i'm super grateful to everybody over on patreon who allows me to experiment and explore and just have fun with my business. And I really hope that if you enjoy what I do, you will consider joining these people, $1, $10, $25, all of them are equally valid. And if you really want, you can sign up as a free subscriber as well and just get kind of like a newsletter of all my new stuff. You can also shop most of the products that you saw on my table at artbytuna.com slash shop. But that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. Stay sparkly, don't let the cruel world dull your shine, and I will see you next time. Bye.